To get to your virtual mod interface, you could go to extend and there should be a name. One of these menus should be called virtual mod. But if, like in this case, you don't find uh, the, the link to virtual mod in the extend menu, then we would have created a shortcut here for you to get to the virtual mod interface. So you would simply click on the shortcut, which will then take you to virtual mod. You will arrive at the virtual mod control panel. And this control panel has a few shortcuts which are most uh, commonly used. So there are much more, uh, of course, places and settings uh, in the menus here on the side. But these are the ones I think you would be using the most. Um, this is for products, categories, orders, payment methods, shoppers, which is those who are registered through your website to use the shop end. Configuration, uh, this is something we'll need to look at in more detailed. And also shop. Now on the side here, you have what is this products as well, you see, but it's got sub uh, menus to these different features under products. Um, so product category is the same as this product category and this products is the same as this one. But then there's also custom fields, inventory, uh, tax ca calculation rules and uh, review and uh, ratings. Then there is your orders, your revenue report, your shoppers, your shopper groups. This is the same as this shoppers um, and coupons. Then there's manufacturers and manufacturing categories. Um, then there is the shop, the media files, shipment method and payment method. So there you have the payment method. That means basically this one will take you to the same place as that one. Um, and then there is configurations, shopper fields, order status, currencies and countries. And then some more advanced tools here, which you won't really, well, most of the time you wouldn't need to make any use of them. And if you do, you must really know what you're doing, especially if you work on this tool and migration. This link here, control panel, will simply bring you back to this page. So if you, for example, clicked on products, um, then... And if you want to get back to the control page, then you go to tools and click control. This way you come back to the, the page which usually loads by default. That is a quick overview at the, the real structure of your shop end. Of course, inside each of these pages, there is a number of different switches, settings and ways that this shop can be customized to really suit your needs. In the next video, we'll look at how to um, actually set up a category, a manufacturer, as well as uh, manufacturing groups. I think we'll just do a quick look at uh, those general uh, features. Um, we'll also would actually want to take a look at configuration and as well as the shop and um, yes so that in the next video